Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the monthly weight loss recap for September. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and this series is where I document in a vlog style format my weight loss journey, including the ups and downs, the ins and outs, and the positives and the negatives. Before we get into this month's recap, I would ask that you would subscribe so you can keep up with your favorite girl on the internet. That's me. And give this video a like if you liked any part of this video. That really helps me out a lot to know that I should continue to do these videos. And comment down below if you have recipes that I should try or suggestions for how I should improve these videos. I would love, love, love to hear from you. Now, without further ado, let's get into this month's recap. So today's Wednesday and I just came back from vacation from holiday and I ate a lot of comfort food I ate a lot of food I didn't have a lot of vegetables it was a lot of browns and beige foods but they were just so good they were so delicious I had lemon bars because we were celebrating my um, belated birthday and yeah had reindeer sausage that was good had a lot of different things had a lot of different types of foods not mad at it not upset that I weigh 213 pounds coming back with myself this morning and yeah, I know I will get back on it. I think the difference with this month, September's video, is that I will be showing more of my cheat meals, but also I think just like meals in general. And when I stretch, along with like my workouts, when I'm trying to be active, talking about how I'm really feeling, all that stuff. So I'm currently on the way home. I just ran some errands and I have Popeyes. I originally went to Popeyes to get the chicken sandwich that everyone is going crazy about, but this location near me does not have chicken sandwiches. So what did I do? I ordered drumsticks, spicy drumsticks, and they are not spicy. And I'm so upset. For dinner tonight, I have sushi and these caramel pecan or caramel nut chocolate covered clusters. I only got five of these though, like five of these little balls and then sushi. And that's my dinner. So I'm done with making salads and I'm back on meal prepping. I have broccoli in all of these, and I'm going to put a salmon, piece of salmon in each one. Today is Wednesday, so this will be Thursday, Friday dinner, Thursday, Friday lunch, with obviously the broccoli. So I was going to go to the gym today, but this morning I honestly woke up too late, and right now I'm not feeling that great, as in I have a headache. So I'm eating my dinner and then this is going to be my dessert, but dinner is broccoli with some salmon and uh, tapatio sauce with goat cheese. And then I have goat yogurt, uh, granola, some honey and blackberries. I did fail to show at work. I had two mini uh, Kit Kat bars. Um, yeah, so it equated to like a full Kit Kat, essentially. Um, but yeah, so that's what I ate today. And this is my dinner. This is my dessert. Good morning, beautiful people. I woke up at 5, th well I woke up at 5 and then I slept in until 5.30. And then now it's 6.27 just finished at the gym I did abs and then I did 25 minutes on the little elliptical swooshy thing it's not an elliptical but it's like an elliptical hybrid I don't I need to figure out the name of this because I 
cons I consistently do not know. I'm not sure of what I see, Cupid, don't move for me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes, and I don't see no other guys. Are you telling me this is a sign? Good morning, beautiful people. I am exhausted today because I did legs. I did abs, which is like the same circuit that you saw me do on Tuesday. And today's Thursday, so I took a break yesterday on Wednesday because I was really tired in the morning. And yeah, I did abs and then I did legs. I only did about four different exercises on legs, I usually try to do six. Um, same thing with like arms, I try to do six, and arms are a lot faster for me, whereas legs, it's just, cause a lot of it involves like added weight, but also body weight, so it's just harder, and it takes a little bit longer. And I haven't worked out legs in a while, clearly, because I was really, really feeling it after a couple exercises so there's that but I got it done but oh my gosh the sunrise is incredible wow it's so beautiful Today is Sunday, and I went grocery shopping, and I thought I would share what I got. I just got top-ups of stuff because I have eggs, I have bacon, and I have some green juice now. I have a decent amount of milk, goat, yogurt, granola. I'll get more blackberries soon. I just don't like them to go bad. And I have avocados, I have bread, and lemons. I'll probably need more bread next weekend. I'll probably need more bread next weekend. But I'm not gonna buy that right now. So this is what I got topped off. I think I said granola, but just bought it because I was like, eh, it'll be one less thing I'll have to go back for. Got more broccoli, frozen broccoli, and all natural chicken. I have one of these in my meat, like per meal. And it's $2.34 for this one. $2.35 for this one. I got more cold pressed juice. This one has a variety of stuff in it. It's from Trader Joe's, it's organic cold pressed juice. Uh, it has vegetable and fruit juices with mint tea and has cucumber, two stalks celery, one fourth grapefruit, one fourth head of green leaf lettuce, one leaf green chard, one small wedge lemon, one leaf kale, four leaf spinach, six bricks parsley, and one teaspoon of mint tea. And then got more coconut milk. 
but I have like three things of broccoli and then two things of chicken and green juice and granola. So that is what I got at the grocery store. I think next weekend all I'll really have to top up on is blackberries and I think that's it because I'm pretty set. I'm going to put the rest of this in the fridge. I'm going to cook the, this tonight. And then I'm set. So trying to maintain the healthy eating. Um, last week I did good. And then obviously you guys saw that I had ice cream yesterday and the day before, which is fine. And then I told you about the sweet treats that I had earlier as well. But I'm still thriving. I'm still doing good. So not too concerned. But anyways, probably going to go to a coffee shop later, get some work done. Need to edit videos. Need to work on my portfolio. Need to do a lot of things. And then more, more activities. So I will love you and leave you here. I see you are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in. just sleep <sighs> okay I made it to the gym I did legs and it was like butt thighs and all of my legs basically the entire lower body I'm sore <laughs> already and I'm ready to I mean I want to go to sleep I'm not tired but I just want to sleep Anyways, today was another day that I didn't want to go to the gym, but I did. I got out the house at 5.30. It is now 6.11. I did 30 minutes on the stairs, and yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Sunday. I gotta be honest, this weekend have not been eating the best. I had donuts the other day from Beatbox, which is like this vegan place. Um, vegan bakery coffee shop place so I had some donuts that were delicious I had Chick-fil-A for dinner last night but I had grilled nuggets so it was a healthier option but still indulge in them fries and then on Friday night I had a lot of pastries for dinner I wouldn't say a lot of pastries but I had pastries for dinner I had like this raisin bread and then um yeah, raisin bread, cinnamon. It's raisin cinnamon bread um, from Panera. So I had that because one of my roommates brought it home. And was like, it's up for grabs. And I tasted it. And it tasted amazing. Um, trying to think of what else. Oh, and then on Friday night, I also had candy as well. So that was... I feel like something's going on with my hair back there. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't say it was like the best food decisions that I have made but they're decisions that I have made and they're I indulged <laughs> but I would say the difference is that I didn't like overeat with the pastries like I ate, I ate to an amount where I felt okay I still have room in my well not still have room in my stomach but like I wasn't eating in excess of those if that makes sense it probably doesn't and that's fine anyways I'm really late for church so I will catch you on the flip side good 
morning, beautiful people. It's been a while since you've been in my bathroom. Welcome, welcome. It's really great. <laughs> the little pigtail's just sticking out all the time. I am not talking that loud because my roommates are sleeping and it's 6, 10 in the morning. So I woke up around 5.15, got out of bed though. Well, got out of the house at 5.30. <laughs> like, I was in the car. Like, driving to the gym at 5.30. But I did 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. I didn't do any abs. I just went straight to the Stairmaster. My hip, my right hip, that's like right here, is hurting just a little bit. So I definitely need to, like, ice it and heat it a little bit so it loosens up because I stretched it but I feel like it's just really really tight and this weekend I was really good about foam rolling like a lot so there's that but um I yeah that's all I did this morning was 30 minutes on the Stairmaster didn't really do anything else lunch today and tomorrow are being catered by my job um so I don't really know what I'm eating, but I'm going to try to eat the healthiest I can. Uh, I said no dairy, like cow dairy, for my meals, so we'll see if that actually happens. But I'm not bringing ones today or tomorrow. I'm just going to have whatever they provide for me today and tomorrow on Tuesday. Tuesday will be um, arms. God's willing. And then Wednesday I'll do cardio and then Thursday will be legs again. But the rest of the week I will incorporate abs because I plan on going to bed earlier. The rest of the week, last night, I went to bed a little late. So I didn't get eight hours of sleep. But I also needed to get up early. Like I needed to go to work earlier than I have been going. Because I have a lot to do this week and I have like a training majority of tomorrow so everything needs to be done today but anyways honestly Honestly, and it's been a long time since I've sweat this much, but my goodness. So in, so today, as you guys saw, I was on the treadmill. I was like walking and running. So doing a couple of minutes walking, doing a couple of minutes running, but my legs caught on fire um, the last few minutes. I was almost to 30 minutes and then my legs were so itchy that I was like, I can't. I was starting to scratch while running and I was like, this is not good. Um, so does that happen to any of y'all? Do you guys, like, you guys, do y'all like legs catch on fire when you run or after you run or when you're halfway through your run because mine do and it is so annoying it's so itchy good morning beautiful people I, it's currently 6.02 and I made it to the gym this morning, uh, 5.07 I think, 5.10, and I did 45 minutes worth of cardio, I did 30 minutes on the stairs, 15 minutes on the bike, I'm feeling exhausted, I'm feeling tired, so yeah, made it to the gym for the fifth time, I did five days in a row this week, which I feel really good about and I think... For sure, I'm gonna do four days, God's willing, and I wanna make a promise and then fail. But I really wanna to try to make it four times a week. 
for the entire T of October and then if I can get to five times like that would be great um, the thing is I don't have enough well I do technically have enough leggings for it but not like tight fitting ones you know you know what I mean because I do cardio and sometimes those looser more casual leggings that I have fall down so that's my dilemma good morning today is September 30th it's the last day of the month and this morning I went to the gym did about 45 minutes of cardio 30 minutes on the stairs 15 minutes on the bike before this weekend let me tell you I weighed 207.8 208 pretty much pretty much 208 pounds <laughs> we went on a student ministries retreat so had a lot of fast food I weighed myself this morning 212 pounds in a weekend but people say this fitness person that I follow who I also have their program she says her name is Massey Iris she says the healthy strategy to overcome a day of excuses cheat day if yesterday you overindulge the entire day don't be alarmed you weigh more due to excess water weight and undigested food if you overconsume processed foods high in sodium and or simple carbs you'll be storing excess fluid that will drop relatively quickly once you go back to healthy eating and exercise she has the do's hydrate get back to eating healthy and avoid under eating and or cutting all your carbs to make up for the calories consumed during the binge get back to training like you normally do and reflect because a healthy body starts with a healthy mindset so it's mainly undigested food but it was for an entire weekend um, we had pizza I had we had burgers fries um, chips lots of snacks cookies so I mean I had tea at one point I had lots of coffee and when I'm telling you I had lots of coffee I'm being so serious so yeah so you guys saw how this month went I got down to 207.8 and then over a matter of a couple days I shot up back to 212 Ugh. like it's frustrating but also it's okay I'm not like you know distraught over it I'm just more so like okay it's a setback and I know exactly what I need to do in order for me to get back down to where I need to be and get back on track so I know I said last month and the month before that I was like oh I'll change it next month oh I'll change it next month I'm not doing that anymore it's already October 6th the day that I'm filming this and I'm already like down from 212 like I'm down not down to 207 but I am down some weight which is very very exciting and yes so I am taking steps this next month to make sure that I meet that my goal of staying in a caloric deficit and going down in weight instead of going up or maintaining so for me i just want to continue slimming down and get out of the 200s like i really want to get out of the 200s and i really want to get to my halfway point of being 30 pounds down which is 203 and once i get there i'm gonna feel you know i'm gonna feel great for a little bit but i'm gonna know that i need to continue moving forward because i'm really excited for this next month because Things are changing. I've already put plans in place for me to be successful, for me not to um, be where I was at this summer because it wasn't great. But yeah, I am what? Taking steps forward 
because I cannot take steps backward. Why? Because it's in the past. It's behind me. We're not focused on what happened in the past because we're in the present and we're moving forward. We're looking at our future. We're never looking behind, period. Period. Anyways, so yeah, I'm really excited for the next coming months, but you know, September didn't go according to plan fully. I was almost there, but then kind of just ate food and I was in the mindset of just being like, you know what? It's fine. It's food. It's not going to put you back in set in the worst way possible because you know what you need to do to stay forward. But I am going to be stricter with myself and, you know, more um, and focus more on cleaner eating going forward because I just... I had the three months to eat what I wanted and to snack as much as I wanted and to, you know, maintain slash gain a little weight. But now, now that it's fall, now that we're in full on fall mode, getting into that winter body, I'm going to snatch it so that when summer comes, I'm looking fierce. I'm looking fine. So that is going to be my goal for fall and winter is to really focus on that summer body so it's not just a summer body it's an all year round body so I'm still going to try to focus on losing the weight and then once I get to where I want to be which is 60 pounds down from my original weight which I'm trying to be like 160 170 that's kind of the goal for me then I'll kind of reevaluate what I want to kind of change about my body um, in terms of how it looks in terms of aesthetic uh, in terms of if I want to kind of bulk up more or stay pretty lean or what that exactly is going to look like for me. So, and we'll see. And I also know genetics plays into this a lot as well as hormones and all that stuff. So I know I'm going to take things into consideration, but I'm sure with hard work and dedication, I will get it done. I'll get this body on point. All right. So... Again, thank you guys so much for sticking with me in this weight loss journey. I really, really appreciate it. And our little community is growing here on YouTube. And I am so incredibly thankful for those of you who have stuck along for the ride. I would love for more of you to hit that subscribe button, smash, hit, click, whatever you got to do to be subscribed to this channel so you can keep up with me and exactly what I'm doing. I not only do these weight loss recaps, I do lifestyle videos as well as vlogs. I'm um, trying to get back more into the lifestyle videos because I have a lot of vlogs kind of at the back end. And once all of those are kind of done and I'm really caught up with everything, then I can start doing more lifestyle content and all that fun stuff. So kind of just bear with me, but I'm on a schedule now, guys. I am being more detailed with my schedule and actually sticking to it. So we're good. We're on the right track. Things are going, are only going to go up from here. But um, if you liked any part of this video, please do give me a thumbs up and comment down below. I would love to hear from you, whether you like the format, if you don't, um, if you have any suggestions for me of things that I'm not including in these videos that you would want me to include in these videos, or even recipes that I could try. Um, I would love to hear from you. So don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in next month's recap for October, which is going to be really exciting. I mean, it's already October 6th and I'm feeling super positive today. I bought nice, healthy groceries. I have a plan of exactly how I'm going to execute everything. So she is feeling successful and she will be successful. So I'm just trying to Put those positive thoughts out there and maintain and actually do them and stick with the plan and not, you know, veer off. I'm going to stay the course. So anyways, I'll see you in next month's recap. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.